Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm the author of Top Solid Blog, and I'm going to give you a quick run through of the new part numbering function in Top Solid 7.4. Okay, so first, what you can do is you can set a default value that will apply to any new documents in any project in Top Solid 7. To do that, you go up to your file menu, you choose PDM and manage part numbering, and here's the menu. Now what you also can do is you can set individual values to any of your existing projects in Top Solid 7. This value will then supersede the default one if you have one. You open your project, project, you choose part numbering and here's the menu. First we need to add a document type. You can choose any of the common, advanced or special documents. We're gonna go for part like that then we're going to add some values. We're going to add a counter. You can choose numeric or alphabetic. Starting value, 1. Minimum number of characters, we're going to set that to 5. Padding character, 0. That's just fine. We're going to add a string. Set the point. You can choose anything you like. We can also add some data. Project name, project part number, folder name, creation date, or user initials. We're going to choose creation date and we're going to go for something short like day, like that. You can then also move these values around a little bit if you like. We're going to do like that. You can also modify any value or remove. Down here is an example of what your new number will look like. And uh, I think we're done. I'm going to choose new part, like that choose document properties to check the number and there it is part number that we just created now just to be sure we're gonna create a new part check document properties and wow it's working just like that